Elsewhere around the world, the Malaysian government confirmed the identity of Kim Jong-nam, the murdered half-brother of the North Korean leader, by using a DNA sample from one of his children. Meanwhile, reports are coming in that one of the two female suspects was thoroughly trained for the mission. Park Ji-won has the latest from Kuala Lumpur. The Malaysian authorities officially confirmed Wednesday that the person assassinated at Kuala Lumpur Airport last month using the deadly nerve agent BX was Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. Deputy Prime Minister Ahmad Zahid Hamidi said Malaysia used a DNA sample from one of Kim Jong-nam's children to confirm the identity of the victim, but has not yet revealed which child the sample came from. At the time of the killing, the victim was carrying a North Korean passport with the name of Kim Chol, but despite the widespread belief that the man was in fact 45-year-old Kim Jong-nam, Malaysia had said it would need a DNA sample from a relative to confirm that. Pyongyang is suspected of masterminding the assassination, but North Korea has so far angrily denied such claims, even disputing the identity of the victim, saying he probably died of a heart attack. Meanwhile, Japan's Asahi Shimbun reported Wednesday, quoting an Indonesian official, that 25-year-old Indonesian national Siti Aisha, who was arrested shortly after the incident, rehearsed the killing at least three times in Cambodia in late January, while accompanied by a North Korean man, and several times more in various places in Malaysia, including the airport. The other suspect, Vietnamese national Doan Thi Huang, was found to have posted photos of her visiting Cambodia in mid-January on her Facebook page, raising speculation that she might have also taken part in the run-throughs of the assassination. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.